Hey guys, Monica Pius here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about what's going on in my life, what I'm doing, and am I going to compete again? So lately, I've been thinking a lot about my fitness journey and um, what I want to do as far as that, if I want to compete. Oh, we got a little visitor. Hi, Butter. You guys always see Dutch, you never see Butter. She's a little camera shy. My last competition was 2015 in Culver City, California. Um, then I got engaged in 2015 and my wedding was in 2016. So I planned for like a year and I didn't want to compete because I wasn't going to be able to put myself entirely into it. Into it like you're supposed to for a competition. Um, and when I do something, I don't like to half-ass it. So I like to give myself entirely into the situation. Um, then after I got married, it was buying the house and all that other stuff that comes with marriage and responsibilities and opening my new business and building my brand. Um, so I didn't really get around to competing. And I was also, I needed to kinda make my body right again as far as my metabolism and being able to gain muscle. So I was a little bit in of a surplus. Then I went to Europe. Um, and the holidays came along and I just kept postponing it and postponing it and postponing it. So um, a couple months ago I was thinking and um, I actually saw a video with Brooke Enns and um, Steve Cook. I saw a video of them and Steve Cook kind of said something that really resonated with me and he said a lot of people give CrossFit athletes athletes crap um, but they're actually athletes and they're lean all year long and they actually like the way that they work out is to better themselves as an athlete as opposed to bodybuilding where you've got your ups and your downs and your off season your on season and that kind of really like I kept thinking about that for days and days and days and um, I kind of just came to my senses and I think I didn't want to admit it, but I finally had to admit it to myself and to my coach that I didn't want to compete anymore. It's, I never really liked it as much as I thought I did. I wanted to be on stage because I missed pageantry and it was kind of, you know, something that took that, that part, that emptiness that I was missing but it was never the same and my heart wasn't completely committed to it like um, like I was in pageants. And another thing was I started really analyzing you know, the stuff that you put your body through and it really isn't healthy. And if you're not even 100% wanting to do it and know if you want to do it, then why put your body through that? Um, you're going to age so much faster because you dehydrate yourself. Um, the yo-yoing of your on season and off season even though it's not like you're supposed to gain so much weight but even then you know you've got the season where you're like a little bit thicker and then you're a little bit lighter because you can't be stage ready all the time and that's not what i want i want to be an athlete like an athlete that is not looking for aesthetics only isn't looking just in their physique and how they can fix it. I want to be someone that lifts weights, does all these crazy things, and what comes out of it is getting you know the muscles and stuff like that, but not that that is my main focus. I want my main focus. Hold on one second. I want my main focus on getting the numbers hitting numbers, you know, doing something at a specific time, um, getting the weights, not just, oh, look at my body, you know, I've got glutes, I've got shoulders, I've got this, I've got that, but you really have nothing to say for it. So that's 
what the route that I'm going. I know that I've said that in a couple of um, my Instagram posts that I am changing my style of training. And um, I am doing some CrossFit, but with Olympic weightlifting, that is the route that I wanna go to. I'm not gonna, I don't like to say never, cause you never know what life is gonna throw at you. But as of right now, competing is nowhere in my future. I was always opposed to CrossFit. I guess you know that little CrossFit bodybuilding rivalry that goes on in the fitness world. Um, I was always like, CrossFit, people get so hurt. And it's not true. I got hurt millions of times during bodybuilding. Um, you can get hurt with anything. That's what it comes down to. You know, when you do strenuous activities, you have a big chance of getting hurt. And that's just part of what it goes. But I mean, if you're a circus performer, if you're a musician, like every job has its risks. And you just, if that's the risk that you're willing to do, then go for it. I'm still in a surplus. I've still gained <sighs> weight. I'm not happy at all the way that my body looks and um, I was also not happy with flex when fla I was not happy with the fact that I'm not flexible and I couldn't do certain movements correctly because that wasn't really my concern. My concern wasn't to about living a longer life and, and doing things for my body. It was more for the looks. And I'm not saying that every bodybuilder out there is like me, but that was my mentality as far as when I was bodybuilding weightlifting. So I just took an Olympic weightlifting class and they're kind of teaching me um, like stuff with barbell movements that I wasn't really, um, I knew about, but I had never really experienced myself doing it. So I'm taking it really nice and easy and learning as a beginner, like if I was never even in the fitness industry. So I think that I wanna take you guys along with me in this journey because it's like starting from scratch, guys. It really is, I, I don't know any of these moves. And it's not the type of CrossFit that you're used to when you go to a CrossFit gym um, that people are like running around and stuff like that. No, it's more like hardcore, weight lift, um, Olympic lifting, doing those type of movements as opposed to just running and, and more for cardio. Um, those are like kind of the CrossFit classes that most people know about because that's what most CrossFit gyms do offer. However, I am part, I joined Brute Strength. Um, I joined them, they are helping me online. And then here in Miami, since I am not familiar with a lot of these moves, my coach suggested that I um, go to Team So CrossFit that's here in Miami and so that they can teach me the stuff from scratch because they have beginner barbell, they have a whole bunch of different um, workouts that are designed for beginners like me. Which is why I really, really loved Boot strength because they are not in it just to get your money and go with it like they really genuinely love what they do my coach Todd is amazing and he is with me every like I feel like he's right there with me um, he goes with me like through the movements how are you feeling how are you going today what do you feel blah, blah, blah. you did this wrong you gotta do this and like he really truly doesn't want me to get hurt which is something that I really really like value up on them like they want me to succeed they know my goals i spoke to them about my goals what my whole background they know everything so i feel like i have known them my entire life they genuinely genuinely care about their clients and i'm so happy to be a part of group thinking of a name what do you guys think i should name it let me know in the comments below the camera's gonna die because I didn't let it charge enough so I can finish this talk with you all. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. And I hope that I inspired you to really sit down and analyze if what you're doing in life is really what you wanna do 
and don't be scared to make changes if that's what's gonna make you happy. Don't be afraid that even though you had this one way, you can kinda turn the road the other way. That's what I'm doing. I've known bodybuilding for a long time and I've decided that I'm going another way because that wasn't working for me. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.